This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. All right, Pharmacy Medical Minute is on a drug, of course, called um, Desmopressin or DDAVP. Um, so we use it for a few different things. It's an analog of vasopressin, an antidiuretic hormone. So commonly it's used um, to help retain water. Um, so for patients who have diabetes insipidus, um, it's probably most commonly why we would use it on the inpatient or outpatient setting, not in the ER. Um, but in high doses, it also has been associated with the release of von Willebrand factor, um, increasing platelet adhesion, stabilizing platelet function, and ultimately reducing bleeding time. Um, so for these reasons and, and these higher doses, um, it's recommended to be considered um, by the neurocritical care guidelines um, to be used for patients who have intracranial hemorrhage and who are on some kind of antiplatelet medication. Um, However, that recommendation was from a couple years ago and is based on pretty limited evidence. So there was a study that was recently done um, that was just published in the Critical Care Medicine Journal just a couple months ago. Um, and it basically wanted to add to this literature to see if there's any truth or validity to it. Um, they looked at patients who had documented intracranial hemorrhage on CT. Um, and then we're also on at least one antiplatelet medication. So these patients were typically on aspirin or aspirin and Plavix for the most part. Um, there are 124 patients total. About half got DDAVP, half did not. Um, and they looked for uh, efficacy by looking at if there was any kind of expansion in the hemorrhage by at least three milliliters on CT. Um, and then they also looked at safety outcomes by um, it can, DDAVP can affect your sodium levels. So making sure those sodium levels didn't drop too much, um, and also looking at new onset thrombotic effects. What they found was DDAVP was associated with 88% uh, decreased likelihood of intracranial expansion, um, which they associated with improved um, performance and activities of daily, daily living, um, and then also that it was just as safe as not getting DDAVP, so no effect in sodium levels um, or new thrombotic events. Um, it's pretty, um, the side effects are pretty mild. Flushing, um, edema, fluid overload, and then hyponatremia are kind of the big things that uh, we would look for. However, with a, a one-time dose um, in these intracranial hemorrhage patients, um, the might the side effect profile is pretty low risk. So something that we might be using a lot more often, especially being a neurocritical care hospital, um, getting tons of head bleeds. Um, if your patient is on aspirin or Plavix at home, um, this might kind of, you might start to see the, this medication a little bit more often. Thank you. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.